That's all I'm asking for. This is the best season of the principal. Investing. The best Investing. Hey, welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for Netflix's original anime season three of Agretsuko. So, Retsuko is a 25 year old red panda who has been growing increasingly frustrated with her job and accounting department. We've seen this in season one and two, and when she can't take it anymore because her day job is getting to her, she goes to karaoke where she does death music. But in season three, we see something a little bit different. There is a fantastic arc um, and storyline here with Retsuko. That's all I'm asking for. The storyline and art goes in a way I wasn't expecting. My most enjoyable season so far of the franchise. I love season one and two. Really enjoyed the Christmas special episode. But season three for me has the most coherent storyline and arc flowing throughout um, uh, the season. So where in season one and two we had that relationship between Haida and Retsuko um, and that continues here. Yeah, that is a big part of the storyline. There is a, a really profound and sometimes quite dark storyline that happens in season three which kept me hooked from episode one to episode ten. They're still 15 minutes apiece so they're quite short and they're easy little like bite-sized chunks. A lot happens between each episode as per usual. There's a lot of jokes that come flowing at you. It's not just because of the Japanese culture. You won't, it won't just go over your head. There is comedy here that um, I think if you're an anime fan, you will enjoy. But it's also obviously has the, the art style's very thick line. So Agretsuko is also known by its original Japanese title, Aggressive Retsuko, and is a Japanese anime musical comedy based on the character created by Yeti for the mascot company Sanrio. You might be surprised that to find that this is a, actually a really quite popular uh, anime series amongst adults. Even though the anime style, because it's really thick lined, it, it, it can, it, appear that it's for very young people but it won't take you but an episode while you're watching it to realize this is for um, older generations you have uh, language you have really um, adult themes the whole story is based about based on a, a worker in an office who loves death metal so already you can see that it's centered around adults so once again, we see Retsuko trying to dealing with a slice of life. Um, she's dealing with money. She's dealing with VR. She's dealing with social media. She's dealing with boyfriend, non-boyfriend issues. Um, that is a big part of the series. And then she's dealing with, uh, because of something that happens in episode one, if you've watched the trailer, you get an idea where this is going, but she ends up using her accountancy skills um, elsewhere uh, and uh, for a trio of, of idols, I guess you would call them, definitely idols. Uh, and she ends up working for this group, this guy, uh, and uh, becomes a part of that lifestyle. And that's where the arc really kicks in. And then towards the end of the series, it gets really dark and I wasn't expecting it to, to take that attack, but I'm really glad it did. I was surprised by how hooked I was into the main arc. Normally I, I watch Agretico for the bite-sized pieces. I'll stick an episode on here and there, but this one was so easy to watch episode by episode. And the animation, you know, it's stuck to its guns. It hasn't changed. The characters are still what you expect them to. You're gonna be frustrated because of the relationships. My only drawback with this um, season was the last episode. It felt really rushed. There was a, a relationship that they've been playing with for a long time. That just suddenly seem to be rushed there's a circumstance that she finds herself in where something happens and then suddenly they kind of skip moments so where we felt like it's almost slice of life well not quite because time does pass but you get to see like what she goes through uh, daily you know what her experiences are and those who are affected around her uh, relationships around the office work around the death metal but it was the last episode that just seemed to skip a lot I felt like if we'd had a two or three more episodes they would have been able to wrap up a story much better or not just skip some integral parts because it did seem to jump where we've been waiting for so long and they've been drawing out a certain storyline for a long time it does seem like they went blah, 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 and we still don't quite know so I felt rushed and yet we still don't quite know what's happening I do hope we get a season four but I did really really enjoy this I thought the new characters that they introduced um, were fantastic exactly as I expected them to be I love the way that the heavy metal is still incorporated when she needs to let rip but it, it's so much more incorporated into the season um, 
um, as you'll see, I really appreciated that because the first couple of episodes made me think, oh, are they not doing that anymore? That seems to be a bit of a shame because that's a big integral part of her character. And then when it comes up again, you're like, oh, I see what they're doing with this. And that I really appreciated. It was a lot of fun. If you need something easy to watch, um, if you haven't been a fan, if you've been putting it off, maybe check it out because you're like, oh, that looks a bit kiddy to me. The animation might do that. But once you start getting into the characters, you'll appreciate what they've done with it. If you've been on board this whole time, I think you're going to love this season. I really appreciated how structured, how coherent the storyline was. Before, it was all about relationship and her dealing with her boss and, um, you know, just death metal and, you know, the boyfriend-girlfriend uh, relationship things. Um, this time, there was a really kind of uh, a wider arc that seemed to affect a few of the characters but our main protagonist it's really understanding what's happening in her life and what happened and how she's got to deal with the consequences of what happens in her life because of a thing that she does at the beginning um, without doing any spoilers I really enjoyed it I'm gonna give this an A so uh, chat to me in the comments below let me know how you would rank this seasons which is your favorite so far um, including the Christmas episode are you looking forward to season four and what would you like to happen in season four of a to go thanks so much for watching this review do chat to me in the comments below which is is your favorite anime on Netflix? Um, do you have any any others like this that you enjoy watching? But again, thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.